Hey guys, this is Dharmind Keshri. In this Fabric session, I'll discuss data access control in Microsoft Fabric. There are two levels of data access in Microsoft Fabric. The first one is workspace roles. It allows to access all the items in a workspace. And the second one is share or manage permissions. It allows to access individual items within a workspace. So the focus of this session is workspace roles. We will dive into different levels of roles available in Fabric and how they can help different teams to collaborate within a workspace. Microsoft Fabric workspaces sit on top of one leg. The workspace is the primary security boundary for data within one leg. Each workspace represents a single domain or project area where teams can collaborate on data. You can manage security in the workspace by inviting users to participate. And you can assign one of the four workspace roles, admin, member, contributor, and viewer. In simple terms, the admin, member, and contributor roles have full permissions at workspace level, with some exception for the member and contributor roles. And the viewer role offers very limited access at workspace level. With this role, you will have permission to utilize SQL endpoint as well as Power BI reports. However, you cannot connect to Lakehouse or run a Spark notebook, write data to OneLake or view files from OneLake Explorer. Here is a concise comparison of the different levels of roles available in Fabric. The admin role has highest level of control it has full access to all workspace capabilities. The member role has a lot of privileges, but it cannot manage workspace settings or add users as an admin. However, it can add users as member, contributor or viewer, and it can also share items and do data related tasks. The contributor role has fewer permissions compared to the member role. It cannot add or remove users, nor it can share items, but it can read or view content and perform data related tasks. The last role is the viewer role, which has the lowest level of access at workspace level. It can only read data, but reading data has some nuances. That's where the SQL policy comes in play. If users have the basic viewer role, with only read permission, they will only be able to read data that has been granted permission by the SQL policy. Even if they got the viewer role permission, but they don't have any grant permission on the SQL endpoint, that means they will not be able to see or read the data. Let's head over to demo. I have already logged into app.fabric.microsoft.com. I'm going to click on any experience to navigate workspaces option. Click here, search WS roles. This is the workspace which I created. Here I have created Power BI report, a notebook, data warehouse, and lake house. Let's click on manage access. You can see this system administrator which got admin role permission on this workspace. Now I'm going to invite three different team members to have access of this workspace. So I'll click add people and give such it to member access. And I'll go back add Jack and give him contributor access. And I'll go back and add the last person which is Dharmendra and give him viewer access. So let's verify the access. You can see the Sachit got member, whereas Dharmendra got contributor. So it should be viewer. So I have changed that permission and Jack got contributor role. You can see we got three different team members, each got different role permission. So let's close this. What I'll do, I'll switch to different browser where I'm connected fabric portal using Sachit user and it got member permission. So let's do a hard refresh so that the member permission granted to Sachit that takes effect here as well. Now click on Synapse Data Science Experience. 
and click on roles let's go to ws roles you can see all the items which was part of this workspace are showing here and if i click on manage access you can see it gives option to add user so when i assign member role to such a user he has permission to add new people or group so i'm going to click on add people and i'm going to invite a new user user 1 and i want to give him member so what you notice here he does not have permission to give anybody or invite anybody as a admin but he can still invite people as a member contributor or viewer so i'll select member and i'll add this let's go back so suppose sachit who got member access does he have option to delete this user no he doesn't have option can he connect to any like lake house item or data warehouse item yes he can connect so it's loading now you can see it already connected the table is loading here and if i click on three dots and if i click view files you can see all the files which is available in one lake we can see that now let's go back to the workspace and if i want to share this data warehouse to does he has permission to share yes can he share lake house yes he has permission to share it now let's switch to different browser where i'm connected fabric portal using jack user so you can see here i'm connected with jack user and he got contributor access i'll do a hard refresh so that the contributor permission granted to jack that takes effect here as well so i'll click on synapse data science experience and go to work spaces and you can see the work space is here ws roles and you can see all the items are here but what is missing here is manage access option means jack who got contributor permission he cannot add any user or remove any user let's click on the lake house and check can he connect to lake house or not and we will also verify can he view the files or not so we can see it's able to connect we can see the table if i click on view files and it can see the files from one lake also and now i'll go back to workspace and let's see that can he share can jack share this workspace item which is data warehouse to anybody or not we don't see options share option here and let's look at in lake house can he share the lake house no he doesn't have permission to share items with any other users or team members now let's switch to other browser where i have logged into fabric portal using dharmendra user now let's do a hard refresh so that the permission granted to dharmendra can take effect here now i'll click on synapse data science experience and i'll go to work spaces we can see the work space ws roles here what you notice that we can see the data warehouse but we cannot see the semantic model but for the lake house we can see the sql endpoint but we cannot also see the semantic model here you can see it does not have option manage access to give permission to any other user but it got access to items which are sitting in the workspace let's try to connect lake house it cannot read the data from lake house basically it cannot connect to the lake house so what i'll do i'll switch to sql analytics endpoint it can connect to lake house using sql endpoint to read the data let's go back to workspace and i'll try to connect data warehouse and let's see it can connect to data warehouse or not yes it can also connect to data warehouse and it can read the data but can it view the data so if i click on three dots it does not show me any option because i am using sql endpoint to read the data and if i switch back to lake house here also i am connecting sql analytics endpoint if, if i try to read the data from one lake can i see that there is no option to see that so basically the user who got viewer permission will not be able to see the files from one lake but he or she can read the data from lake house or data warehouse using sql endpoint 
with this i conclude my video thank you so much for watching it